How's it guys? Okay, firstly, sorry for not being on for a while. We've had a bit of COVID scares and COVID's flaring up badly in South Africa. Um, so, but I need to keep mentally focused and continue what I'm doing to keep my mind going. Um, I thought that I gave you guys an, a final update and a review on the Miller and Crystal um, Cinema Room. But as a, a loyal follower pointed out, I have not. So apologies on that as well. Let's sort that out now. So Miller and Crystal Room, finally done. Um, as done as our cinema rooms can ever be. But I don't think I'm going to be adding anything. But at the same time, my mind is going to what can be added. So let me share with you what I have now. What I'm thinking of adding um which will be <laughs> totally unnecessary but we all know what this hobby is like but okay let me get to it so um i'm gonna talk about the system then i'll take the camera around and show the system and then i will pray, play some a few clips not that that's going to be any use on um on youtube but so you guys can just sort of see what it performs like and if you guys are wearing headphones maybe you can differentiate but you you'll never experience a system like this unless you're sitting where i am um, and i will explain what this system does and how i've calibrated and rigged it up so firstly head unit we have the flagship of all flagship denon a110 anniversaries running 13 channels as the previous 8500 the, the just this is the anniversary they just sort of took the 8500 and said, listen guys, do whatever you want to it. And they did. It's a way above what most people are going to be using. But I recommend if you are going to be running a full THX cinema system and you are not going to be using separates, I would always recommend separates. But we are living in a world where separates are sort of going out the door and clients do want a easy easy an easy one button one box solution that's just the fact of where we are heading so that's why i recommend if you're going to be doing a thx theater system go for the biggest possible receiver you can afford um, i would not go any smaller than a denon 6 700 8 500 recommended um, A110 if you want to splurge, but it's not necessary. You 8500, 6700, Marantz, um, 8015. Um, I would not go smaller than the 8015. I'm not sure if the 7015 is going to cut it, but I'm sure you can make it work. But yeah, so no smaller than that. But so uh, that's running the head unit here. Uh, for projecting, of projection, we're running the trusty um, Epson. 9400 that everyone is sort of it's your go-to unit up to a certain price point after that jvc and sony takes over but four or five times the price and um that's that's a bit too rich for my blood so um i'm on the the, the epson um then for the miller and crystal a uh, screen let's let's keep with the projections a so screen i'm running my custom screen we do in-house i do have some si screens that i did run into around lately recently that i still need to see which ones i'm going to use i need to modify them a bit they're old stock so i need to there's a bit of diy in there but as soon as things get back to normal and i can start getting back onto full work um i will look at those and implement that there but for now running our custom screen with the led smart backlighting i'll show that in a picture shortly then for the front stage, it's the Miller and Crystal IW 150s, in wall 150s, left, center, and right. For the rears, I'm running the brand new IW 150 tripoles, T's. You can see them behind me, one, two for rear surrounds, and then I've got two on the side of me for side surrounds. Subwoofer, I am running the X12 in front. It's an absolute beast. Um, that subwoofer. I had to turn down quite a lot because I want to get that fine point where I do feel it in the seats and it gives me that almost four dimensional base, but I do not want it shaking things. I don't want to hear the ceiling rattle or lights in the ceiling rattle or doors rattle. Already I had to, you know, we all have the rooms we have to work in. So this is not a built cinema. 
I had this room and we had to sort of make it to where it is now. So it's not perfect like most of our cinemas are not going to be perfect. I had to reinforce the doors some for rattling. I had to tighten down the trap doors for rattles. Um, so, and then I had to tune the bass to a certain point. So what I did to get the room filled, because as soon as I turned to, to it's, it's, it, let's say it's about on just under half on THX and on minus 12 on the receiver. So it's really idly, but I do have it where I have a nice impact, but I lost the room full. So I added two of the smaller 12 inch Miller and Crystal units at the back. Also just idling, just to fill that base. So what that's given me is where I sit on any one of these three seats, when the bass hits, it hits the couch. You get that, if you're like in a submarine, Aquaman, you can feel, it's, you're in that sub. So, but it's not overbearing to where um, you get to where the bass is just too much. It's all in place. And that is when the THX system is set up correctly. You're never going to have, like in a stereo setup, I always say to people, they ask me, how's this one music? I say, you know, it's not bad, but if you're a stereo file or audio file, you're not going to have the stereo imaging you have on a stereo system because the speakers aren't full range. They are crossed at 80 hertz. They are not tilted in to give you a perfect stereo image. They are to give you seat to seat consistency in a cinema setup. But it is, it's good on music, but it's not audio file quality music. This is for cinema. Um, so, got that seat to seat, got the bass, the front, oh, the center image, the voices, where you normally struggle to hear what people are saying. This is almost as if the person talking to you or shouting at you is there. King Kong Godzilla, when Kong screams at Godzilla, dude, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's so impressive. The front stage on this is phenomenal. The rear stage is just as impressive, but they do not make themselves known as the front stage. That front stage is always there. It's always present. That center is on full tilt. Then the size for the music score, it's just that runs 80% of the music, movie. The bass, obviously, just as impressive. It doesn't make itself known when there's quiet scenes, which I love. Some subs where you set them to a, to a nice level, you're always aware that there's a subwoofer. This disappears. I wish it's, it's very big, so I can't hide it in my room. But if you could hide that, it will be a mind-blowing experience where I don't see any subs, but the bass. And man, so it's quiet and all of a sudden, again, King Kong Godzilla, when, when Godzilla comes in, and he's under the water and it's like, and it's like all quiet and then the bass just comes in and then all hell breaks loose. And then Kong is back on the boat and he's looking for Godzilla and it's quiet. And then all of a sudden just he shoots up that flipping plasma beam. Um, if you haven't watched that movie, go watch it on a proper system. It is a trip from beginning to end. Um, this weekend we also watched Tomorrow Wars, but I didn't know I watched it in here, I watched it in the other cinema. That movie was so epic, so I'm going to rewatch it in here. Um, okay, back onto track. So what the rears do is they sort of, because they tripod design, they're not in your face like the front stage would be. They sort of disappear in the room. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? So it's not a pinpoint sound at all, but it is an immensely enjoyable surround experience. You can get away with just two of them. Um, I only had two for a long while. Then I got the rears. The way it throws the sound, it is optimal if you can go for seven you know four at the back seven speakers on floor do it um, it's a costly affair but if you can do it then for um, in atmos speakers i got the i well i95s also from miller and crystal phenomenal they are just everything they do is just made to a caliber this is end level game for most of you so if anyone is into home theater and you've been playing around with different speakers but you want to build a proper home theater setup, I can honestly say that with the top end brands you're going to be looking at, you can't go wrong. Um, I'm going to also mention something like the Clips THX, can't go wrong. Amazing systems, phenomenal systems. It's just for me when I had to make this decision when I did my room, obviously it comes into play by who of the distributors come in with the best deal at the time, but the main decider for me was 
um, the prestige and the heritage. Um, nothing bad against clips. It's just Miller and Cresol is in a whole different level. Um, they got the prestige. Um, that's why people like Lucas Arts use them for Star Wars movies or Universals use them to mix. So all the big players are using Miller and Cresol. Another thing that points back to the heritage and the design is they haven't changed their stuff in the last 20 years. They still changed the look of the cabinets and, and to, to be with modern times, albeit a matte black cabinet um, that sort of disappears in the room. They will update those, but the internal spec stays the same. You know, like they say, if, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And um, I can urge you, the problem is of this type of brand is it's very... It's a very prestige um, custom install brand. So you can't just walk into a store and experience it. So that is a bit of a pity, but also a bit of a pro for people like us. You need to come to us if you want it. So anyone that wants to come and experience this room, do it. Look for someone in your area if you want to experience this or see who the local Miller and Crystal agents are and ask them who has a demo room. So you can come and experience a system like this and then ultimately if you can afford do it um this has been a long time for me that i wanted to do this and eventually i could get to the position where i can afford it and it's taken my business to the next level um you won't understand until you've experienced it's just really that phenomenal so okay, i'm going to cut this one now um, i'm going to take the camera off and then i'll take go around and show you the actual speakers and then i'll do a little demo snippet so be back shortly okay guys i am back let me show you the components so that is the iw150 got their free tweeter design seal con seal construction we have their midway mid-range woofers this is the beast x12 push pull subwoofer 112 there 112 at the bottom also sealed construction very unusual for a THX setup to be sealed base, but trust me, that thing must be one of the best subwoofers I've ever heard, if not the best. Absolutely amazing. Don't know if you can see at the back. No, that's going to be too bad. You've got a whole host of features on this thing. I'm just running it on the easiest THX mode, not to co um, complicate things too much. There's the Beast A110. PlayStation 5 running there. I uh, also do have my dedicated 4K Blu-ray player. So that's the front stage. Excuse the light there. There, there, there. Then we go around to the rear. Tripoles. One is open. I'll show you now what it looks like. There we have the V12 sub in the corner. Another V12 sub in that corner. And here is the tripole design. Again, tweeter mid-range and then the tripole configuration. So that's what they look like with the covers off and then covers on. If you want to build them into the walls, um, got these like these panels aren't completely finished, but we've got the acoustic foam in there. So this is how we will do it for a customer. We will pad the room out and then we can either hang them all on wall or build them into the wall. So I left this exposed so we can show what it's going to look like. Okay, let me give you a quick demo of what this room is like. See you now. Okay guys, I am back. Let's see if I can take you along on this um, journey. So we're running Apple TV. This is our own custom in-house screen. Don't know how it's coming across on the image. I will check when we upload the video, but it does a very good job um, for the price. These we do for like six and a half thousand South African Rand with the LED and installed. So this is 120 inch. This might be slightly more than 120. Um, I think it's about 122, 123 ish, um, 69. Uh, yeah, so performs very nicely for the price. I'm gonna, let's do some, let's do some demos. Let's just do the trailer for King Kong Godzilla. They can't flag us for doing trailers. 
Um, so it's not going to be the full Dolby Atmos, but let's see if you can experience what I'm experiencing. This is our only chance. Okay, I don't know how that sounded to you guys, but it's pretty epic. Um, I don't know if you could hear what I said about the voices, how pronounced and how precise. And obviously the bass and the surrounds, you guys won't be able to, to fully comprehend. Um, let's do another little... Um, let's do the Mortal Kombat. Also one of my go-to demos, but let's do the trailer. First learned about this seven years ago on a mission in Brazil to capture a wanted fugitive. The target had superhuman abilities. It had the same dragon marking you do, Cole. I think it's an invitation to fight for something known as Mortal Kombat. both of these movies if you haven't watched them they are absolutely epic oh boss level this is up pre-order i also want to watch this when it comes out soon okay guys so that's basically the tour of my miller and Crystal um cinema oh, you won't be able to see me now the lighting is bad okay so guys if you have any questions um hit me up let me know let me know when you, what you want to see next um love doing this kind of stuff there i am <laughs> love doing this kind of stuff guys please like subscribe if you want to see more let me know what you want to see till next time cheers bye